Hello. Welcome to my YouTube channel. We are about to build something extraordinary. So I've seen these all over YouTube, all over the internet. If you want to buy one, I mean, they can cost you anywhere from about 10 to 15 grand. But if you build one, even on a budget, you can do it for about uh, 2,500 bucks. I think that's where we're gonna where we're gonna be once it's all said and done. So here in a moment, I'll show you what we got. I'll show you uh, what we're gonna build. Show you what we're starting with, and uh, I'd, I'd like you to to uh, to come on this journey with me. So here we go. Here we go. Uh, this is uh, or was or is a boat trailer that tilted. So. This is what we're starting with as far as a trailer. So, I know this is not the way that everybody else has done it, but I'm actually gonna build the camper first and then modify the trailer to adapt to the camper. So, if you follow along, you'll understand how that's happening. Leave some comments in the comment section as far as ways that you think that uh, uh, maybe I could do some things different or kind of tweak it, because I'm wide open to suggestions. So first things first, when I get to the trailer part, I'm going to uh, remove that latch there. And that latch uh, was part of the tilting function. And if you see right there, there is uh, one of those on either side that allowed it to tilt. I'm not 100% certain on why a boat trailer needed to tilt, but whatever. So after I get all that shored up, I'm gonna remove the axle and the springs uh, those are going in the garbage, maybe on Facebook Marketplace for free, whichever comes first. Uh, and then I'm going to move the axle forwards, or the new axle rather. And it's going to be fi a five lug axle uh, with 31 by 10 and a half inch tires. Uh, but what we're going to do first, like I said, is we are going to start by building the camper itself. So, uh, real quick, um, here's one of my helpers. That's Sunshine. Say hello, Sunshine. Hello, Sunshine. <laughs> That's one of my helpers. You'll get a chance to meet another one of my helpers who uh, we call him Brother Barry. And, uh, yep, you're gonna get a chance to meet him. So, I don't know if you can see this. So basically, there's the camper. Yeah, it's hard to see. I'll show you it later, but pretty much rough layout. Uh, 45 degrees in the back. We got 45 at the top there. We have a, uh, our galley is gonna be in the front. Obviously this is the main living section. Uh, tire, spenders, roof rack, little roof storage right there. Maybe put a, uh, uh, what do you call it, a generator or something right there to, cause I didn't design a generator to go anywhere else in it. So here we go. We're gonna begin by, uh, by making the floor section. Oh, and just so you know, so this is not a four by eight trailer. It's actually like four, it's actually about eight by uh, roughly four and a half and some change. So you'll see the way that I put the wood down is gonna be a little bit different than just throwing down one single uh, four by eight sheet of plywood. It takes about three extra sheet of plywood to do, do this the way that I'm gonna do it. I could have went a number of different directions, but I think this is gonna be the best one because a lot of times it won't be just me and my wife in here, which that's who I'm actually building it for. But uh, I, I will throw um, uh, at least three of my other kids in here because they're smaller. And uh, the other two, they can sleep in a tent on the ground because they're older. And I never slept inside of a real RV before. This will actually be the first. So since I'm almost 40, they still have a while to go before they have the privilege of, uh, of hanging out inside of warm and dry and off the ground with a television and a mattress that doesn't hold air. Okay, that's enough time wasting. Let's get started. Thank you. 
here we go. Oh, and just for the record, I'm not a carpenter. I'm not a welder. I'm really not even a jack of all trades. My first degree is different than my second degree, which both are remarkably different than my career. So I just do things as I feel comfortable with them. And uh, so just keep that in mind when, uh, when you see me doing what I do. I make it look easy, sometimes. Basically what we've done is we, uh, I'm lining out the second of the top of the roof pieces right now. Uh, as you've seen, we cut the floor pieces. Uh, if you'll pan over there and take a look at the two side pieces. This is Brother Barry, by the way. This is Brother Barry, my neighbor. He's an actual carpenter. Uh, so once we get these top pieces cut, and uh, we got the bottom pieces cut, we got the side pieces cut, we're gonna put those pieces all together with screws and some glue, and uh, then we're going to cut the back pieces in, we're going to leave the front piece not on, on purpose, uh, so then we can put all the stuff on the inside, because once we button it up, uh, the door won't be big enough to put in things, and I'd like to put things in where I got the room and I can breathe, so here we go, I'm about to cut this out now.
Look like on that end, Barry. It's good. Yeah, it's on the money. It's, it's a little long. Let me let me take about. Are you sure? Yeah, a little quarter inch. I I, I I don't think it is. I'm glad I got so many engineers on the team. That's one yet, huh? Alright. Alright, let's take it down. I'll just come on this 
side and screw it. Alright. So that one goes like that. Glue on this side. All right, so we're back. I didn't, uh, I didn't record a lot of this because a lot of it is just easy stuff. But I'm gonna just go over the thing, over the whole thing, show you what I've done, um, and then show you what I'm gonna do next. So there are a couple spots, like, like right here. For some reason, my uh, my angle didn't come in like I wanted it to come in. So I'm gonna belt sand that smooth. All right. So basically what I have done is just built a box, right? So from that point to that point is eight feet, just like uh, we had discussed earlier. Now I have it sitting on the frame so I could take some additional measurements and we'll go over those, what measurements I needed to take here in just a moment. But, so I've got the entire thing put together, at least the outside put together, including the front, the top, both sides. Now, what 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 I didn't record was me putting this whole thing together on the inside. So basically, I've taken this one by and framed out each of the uh, all of the corners, and then that's how I screwed it together. So, like I said, I'm not a carpenter, right? But I think it turned out all right. There's some places that I need to caulk and uh, and get sealed up. Right now, I'm waiting on my neighbor, Brother Barry, to bring over his belt sander. And we're going to go over the whole thing and belt sand it, right? So, once I belt sand it, my next steps are to go everywhere where these screw holes are. And uh, they're all, for the most part, countersunk. And this right here is just a defect in the wood. that I, I wish I would have paid more attention when I was picking up the wood. But anyway, I'll fill all that in. So the next step with this is going to be covering it with the the primer so that I can put the um, fiberglass wrap on the top of it. Now there's this this YouTube video and I'll put a, I'll put a uh, a link in the description. But there's a uh, a YouTube video where a guy says you can waterproof anything with fiberglass and this uh, and this other stuff. But I'll put a link to the YouTube video. The guy seems like he knows what he's talking about. I've seen the work come out completely and it looks like it looks like that's the way I'm going to go. In fact, that is the way I'm going to go. So I have to take this back off of the trailer. Um, oh, the measurements. Let me get to the measurements first. So I've, I did this because I picked up this box right here from Harbor Freight. Uh, I think it was uh, either 89 or 119 bucks, but that, that doesn't matter. I'll put a link to the uh, to the box in the description as well. But from this point right there to that point right there is exactly 24 inches. So I'm building another box, the length of the trailer, 24 inches wide, and it's the top of it's going to stop right here. Inside of that box is where I'm going to put the galley and the galley is basically going to consist of a it's going to pull out from the passenger side over there but i'm just showing you on this side um it's going to hold the flat top cook stock flat top cook stove and then underneath it will be where i have the cooler and they'll both slide out on heavy duty drawer slides so that is actually 
my next next step because everything needs to be put together before I can start the uh, fiberglassing process so with that being said that's where I'm at um, again I have to take the box back off the trailer which isn't necessarily difficult to do in theory um, but basically it's only me brother Barry is not gonna be able to help me pick this thing up and move it any kind of way but I'll figure it out I'll have to go maybe grab some guys from work or or whatever uh, this thing right here is a roof rack I'm gonna put on the top of it I got this out of another deal when I bought the top for this Jeep I didn't need it it looks stupid so I'm gonna put it as a roof rack on the top of there okay so once I do that well, that's before I do that, that needs to be repainted and made to look nice. Uh, the frame, which is actually pretty interesting. It's actually, if you can see that line right there, that's where the frame is going to stop. I'm cutting it off. The axle is coming off of the frame. And basically the center of the axle is not going to be there, but it's going to be there. Um, I put my wheels up against it and then got my hub face hub face with and then the um, the spring centers so that I can get online and order a uh, order an axle so that's where I'm at uh, once I get my thoughts together we're gonna go from there um, again like and subscribe this is gonna be a really cool build so far it's, it's going as planned and maybe a little ahead of schedule i'd like to have it done in the next couple of weeks however plywood and fiberglass and resin and all of that garbage costs money so uh, with that being said i'm gonna i'm gonna get back at it